Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to share this video with you. I took a cruise about two weeks ago and now with one of my best friends since middle school, Stacy. Um, her husband has been deployed, so she needed a mama break. You all know that my husband has an odd schedule, so we do a lot of single parenting every now and then. So it was a great little reprieve and we decided to book it on Royal Caribbean a few months ago. So this whole vacation was less than a thousand dollars a piece. Uh, so this is gonna be my honest review of the trip. Um, just a bunch of clips throughout it and then I'll give you guys like my final thoughts on it at the end, okay? Hey, so we are having our first formal dining experience for dinner and we got the best seats in the house. I think you just need to go have a two-person cruise because every two-person table here is right on the water. So it's amazing. But the menu is so good. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm probably going to do the Caesar salad and some soup and then the New York strip steak with like potatoes and everything. And some chocolate cake. Right now I'm just going to chill on some bread and watch Stacy drink. <laughs> So I started with a Caesar salad and then Stacy started with the crab cake. Let's see how it is. <laughs> is it hot? Or it no, like no, it's like so buttery, so soft. I mean, my Caesar salad is just a, a Caesar salad, so I'll have to do something else. It's a good crack cake. Let me taste it. was way too overzealous, and I already took a bite, but it looks so good. And Stacy did too. I keep forgetting to film. Oh well. <laughs> So we just got done with dinner and probably sat and talked there for about like two and a half hours. We missed two of the activities that we signed up for already. One was like a spa package raffle and then the other one was, oh my god, I forget it. It was just like another, oh it was actually a champagne toast with like the art, um, like the giving away art on board so it wasn't bad the food was amazing like I've done a carnival cruise before this and it was so good um, this day uh, I'll probably tell you guys in the intro a bit more but this day started later so right now it's about nine o'clock and we are going to take this opportunity without babies to stay up late and then just sleep in because there's so much to do at night here so first thing um, I have never actually gambled other than just pulling slots. So we are going to go up to the casino and play some blackjack. Um, I did not know that blackjack was 21. Uh, I feel really dumb, but I know how to play that. So we're going to go do that. And then uh, there's a comedy show right afterwards at 10 o'clock. So we will do that. And then at midnight, they're having this big balloon drop. So if we make it to midnight, that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along for some of that. I don't think we can record in the casino, but just to give you guys like an idea of what the ship is all about, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our room real quick. So we got a window room. I'll take a video in the morning too, because right there is just a black hole. So we're splitting a king bed and this is the desk area. Oh. We'll take a video of the bathroom later <laughs> and then a little seating area and if we had an adjoining room so we could access them right through here well, let's go gamble mm -hmm. someone told me this ain't love there's no way you get into my heart Gotta move on Keep it together for you fall apart And there's no reason to be numb But I can even fall asleep until the dark If there's no love and there's no lust Whatever you got, I'm about to give it up Get to him, I'm not in love I don't feel anything 
vlog last night, but we just finished up that 70s party and then made our way back to the room. There was a little Spanish dance place on the way back that a few people were dancing at. Hopefully as the cruise goes on, people get more comfortable and start going out there so that we can join. But overall, day one was awesome. I played two hands of blackjack and lost $20 more quickly than I can make it. Um, we just laid by the beat or by the pool a little bit, went just all around the boat figuring everything out and then the food was amazing. So I can't wait to start our next day here. So we are back for day two. Stacy's pulling you in the It's yeah, like yeah. seven o'clock and we're going to breakfast. We're like, oh, we're going to sleep in. No, that did not happen. So we're going to Windjammer's Buffet and just going to eat a ton of food. To feel real fluffy when we put on bikinis. So I'll show you. We got basically everything for breakfast. Oh my god. I did not eat about half of my food because I have like the worst stomach ever. So I'm gonna go get some C bands and hope that will help so we can go ahead and enjoy the day. So hopefully, pray for me. When we came back to the room to get my motion sickness bands, we ended up sleeping um, two and a half hours? Yeah. Yep, about two and a half hours. So our half of our day in Nassau so far has been spent in bed, just chilling right near the Disney Dream cruise. Um, yeah, but we feel so much better. I don't know if we're gonna, I'm not really hungry. What do you think? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Maybe eat before we leave the boat, but figure out what we're going to do. And now I saw there's like 30 excursions that we could do. There's swimming with the dolphins. You can just tour Atlantis Resort. Um, there's canoeing and whatnot, but we're just going to go with the flow. There we go. Kayaking. <laughs> so we'll do that and we'll let you guys see it. We made it to dock. We have Atlantis Resort over there, Carnival Ecstasy, and then we have the Disney Dream Cruise coming in, which just looks like a beast of a ship. It looks so pretty. It might have to be a future cruise that we take. And people are already deboarding. So we are getting ready to go to the fancy dinner. I got this dress from Francesca's here. Let me get in the full blown mirror here. It's a bit more low cut than I'd like. And then I got this necklace from Francesca's too. Uh, the blow dryer will not dry my hair. So we're just gonna go with the wet mop look and try to get this together. But we were supposed to do a 5.45 dinner. It's about six o'clock right now. So we will figure that out. All we've really been doing is laying down on chairs. And you guys will see, we're gonna be doing a good bit of that tomorrow, but it'll be way fancier. Uh, so I will show you guys what we're eating for dinner. Uh, what we ate for lunch was pretty much like 
noodles, pizza, carbs, just whatever they had at like the lunch hall. So it wasn't too fancy, but tonight's dinner is supposed to be nice. So I will show you guys that, but I have been impressed with the food so far, especially compared to the carnival cruise on. I went on a few years ago. Stay tuned. I got spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> and see that's got french fries. Chicken cordon bleu with fries and your peas and carrots, yeah. which we're not gonna touch. <laughs> and we've already eaten our bread. Just enjoy. I'm taking video right now of us walking up to our bougie, let's call it the proper name, day bed, beach bed. There's people out in kayaks. Is this us here? Yeah, comes with water and chairs for out on the water and our view for the day. So this is the start of day three in our bed. I uh, just filled myself with the breakfast buffet. I think I had a donut, a hash brown, egg omelet, um, oh God, sausage, parfait. I'm talking about all I ate for breakfast before I decided to put on a bikini. Yeah, real rough. So we're gonna actually apply some sunscreen and get out on the day beds and this is going to be the whole day so if i'm filming i might be sleeping yes yeah we have lunch coming to the cabana and they gave us bottle our four bottles of evian not too bad for less than 200 bucks Oh, you see the fish out there swimming, jumping around? Mm -mm. Like three jumps. Yeah, I'm recording you. Yeah, I was gonna say he's posing for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go away. happy we have a bed now so I am pretty sure we are burnt I know my face is burnt and I can feel like my arms are um, we walked out to like the furthest point in the ocean sorry I gotta put these on um, to see how far we could go and I walked out as far as I've ever gone in an ocean so I was basically out where those people are actually right all the way over there so cool the water was only up to my knees that far out because it's low tide here um, so it was cool to look back and we got to see the Norwegian cruise line island which is right next to perfect day at Coco Cay so it's about 2 30 
Um, and then we're gonna go get some souvenirs for the kiddos uh, and look around the rest of the island once we relax a little bit. So I'll get Chuck in a little bit. It's a great performance. One more time, everybody. Show them some love. Show them how you feel. An amazing cast. All right, be honest with me. Uh, be honest with me. How many of you got scared when the, the lion trainer is spinning the girl here? Put up your hands if you got scared. That she, yeah. Listen, the first time I saw that part, I had to change my, my pants after. I swear. It was just, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Marcelo I'm the Cruz, director of war. And I hope you have a fantastic day. What an amazing day today. And uh, yeah, the perfect day in Coca Cane, right? It was great, great weather. The island is beautiful. Uh, we had so much fun. I went out as well. Uh, the water was like like like, like temperature. Like it was, it was like not even cold or anything like that. But it was great. I love the island. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I had an amazing time and I hope you had a fantastic time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the night is young. We do have so many activities for you this evening, so I want you guys to go out there and have fun and meet us in the Royal Theater because tonight we're gonna be presenting to you an amazing show with Scotty Kavanaugh. He, he, he has action, comedy, juggling, everything in just one show tonight at 10.15. So whatever you do, do not miss the show because he's gonna be amazing. He really is gonna amaze everybody. So come and join us. And again, it's one show, so make sure you get down nice and early because it's gonna be a full a full pack uh, lounge, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show this evening. One more time, give it up for our entertainers, the technical team performing for you tonight. I forgot to record, but I am recording just some of this food. Is there 50th? I wonder what this is. So I hope you guys like that. Um, some additional things that I think would be helpful for you all if you are looking to book a cruise. Um, one thing that I wish I would have brought was eye drops. For some reason, both my friend and myself, not doing any drugs people, but we both got like pink eyes as soon as we got um, on board the boat and when we woke up the next day and we were getting more sleep than we ever usually get so that was weird um, I also will say if you're staying in the same room um, though we each checked in and put our own credit cards on file for our C pass, it booked everything to like my card versus both of ours. So that's just something that we should have gone to like guest services, I guess, to make sure that things were separated. It didn't matter afterwards we like got it all sorted with Venmo and everything nowadays that you can do, but just something to keep in mind um, if people are spending different amounts. Uh, I would definitely do it again. It was a great reprieve. Um, I got to read a book. I got to lay out and just look out at a beach and just be grateful um, for the life that I have, family I have. Um, definitely would do Royal Caribbean again. And I wish that we would just have gone to that Coco K uh, for both days. I don't think I ever want to go back to Nassau. Um, and I kind of put that in my survey, but the customer service was great and I will definitely be doing it again. So I hope you guys like this. Give me an idea for what you want to see my next vacation be. It's probably going to be with family. Um, so it's kind of family oriented activities or places you want to see us go. But thanks guys. Like this, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.